Hey friends, we're starting to see the leaves are gonna be changing soon. They are more north than they are where we're at, but you can watch for those. So I've got a few, <laughs> actually I found a limb that was laying down on the ground. So I've got some leaves that look like they're changing, but it's really, really just dying. So I've got a few different kind of leaves to do our leaf painting today. And we've done different kinds. And I want us to, to think about maybe a couple of different ways to do it. Don't forget a great way to play with Play-Doh and leaves because it's one of our nature things is that we can pull it out and we can use imprints of the leaves whenever we're doing this too. So pull this out enough. Show the kids how to make an impression of the leaf <laughs> and the Play-Doh. Maybe they just need that experience. You know, I think nature center type of things really show up in just about every one of our centers, but definitely in art, we can see that. Oh, stuck to the plate a little bit, but you can see it makes an impression like that. So that's one way you can do some of these leaf things. I wonder if it'd be better on the table. Probably, yeah. See the stems? So let's set that aside. I think you understand plenty about that. Let's talk about painting. So I've got another paper plate here. One of the things I've learned about kids is if there's going to be a paint supply, if I tape that to the table, then it doesn't move whenever they're trying to reach for it and drag it away from the other kids or whatever. So get a variety of leaves. And so a little bug there. So I, I have this one and we could paint right over this. That would be fun. It's a little harder because they're such narrow leaves. This one's a little bit curly, so it might not be very easy to, um, to paint. So I wanted you to see if it's got a little bit of a curl to it, it might be a challenge. We could always put a piece of tape underneath and put it on there. That'd be fine. But Here's a big leaf and we could try that. So we have to kind of hold it in place while we paint it. So let me give you, well, you know, we're using, I'll just use the screen, but you could use fall colors, browns, yellows, orange. Of course we have orange paper here, so that helps a little bit. So you could paint right over it and show the boys and girls how to do that to be able to paint right over it. And as you're painting all over it, then go ahead and talk about how God made the leaves. He made all of creation and the seasons. And we live in an area in Oklahoma where we see all four seasons. Not all of our friends see all four seasons. Some, some friends haven't seen snow before. And that's too bad, because we like snow. We don't like blizzards, but we like snow. All right, I think I've got that where you can see. So lift it off carefully and there's our leaf. I want to, I want to say you could try a couple of things like, let me pull out another piece here, just for a different variety. So we could use the, uh, a new piece of paper and let me try one of these leaves that's not too curly and we could stipple it which means we just get a little bit on our brush like this and we just lightly tap it like this maybe the boys and girls would like to try something like that if they don't want to paint it or you could show them different ways that they could do the the leaf painting but it could involve that you're going to go out and do a little nature walk, find some leaves. That would be okay. So that made a little bit different of an experience. And there's always the toothbrush if you want to try to flick it like this. <laughs> that does make a little mess. So I would say get it a, a little box with narrow sides like a water 
uh, comes in a tray or something to do this one. And make sure the kids always have a smock on so it doesn't get on their clothes. Don't do this on Easter Sunday, you know what I'm saying? All right, kids love painting experiences and you need to be able to have them. Be sure that you can only have enough at the table that you can manage because there's the, oh, the reason teachers don't do this is because it gets out of hand. And so if you have only those at the table who can do this at this given time, then you can manage that. Kids who all want to come and do it, and they do, you have to just put a piece of paper on the wall or on the table and write their name down and tell them they'll be next when one of these, are, these friends are finished you'll call their name and they'll be next. As long as it's fair, they'll wait and they'll have a turn and then you'll be able to manage it better. So give leaf painting a try.